Another evidence don't show. When I tell you say Peter B is coming, no the doubt time. Watch this video. Even when we know say the result INEC announced, no they correct. The only Lagos State alone, only Lagos State result where LP get is enough to cancel PDP second position. And when that is done, forget about the rest because Peter B is reclaiming this mandate. Watch this video and you will see the reasons for yourself. God bless you as you share this video. Peter B did us some favor. Because without Peter B, nobody would have believed it was possible for any other party to win in Lagos. And even that win, people are still saying the magic declared the margin declared could not have been the original magic based on the preponderance of votes that came from the young people, especially the obedience in Lagos. So just as some of those people took votes away from Atiku, they also took votes away from Tinubu. If you can defeat Tinubu in Lagos, defeat Tinubu in Oshu State, it tells you that no one has a need, and that's because there is a theory of rigging. More often than not, you are able to rig only where you have overwhelming presence. But in Lagos this time, I mean, it would have been suicidal for anybody to say the obedience did not capture Lagos during the president because they were determined. And you would have had to kill so many people to change all those votes. So all you could do is just some skillful manipulation here and there. Wherever you think Atiku is doing well, bring it down. Wherever you think Obi is doing well, lower it. And that's why you have all these mutilations all over the places. I'm sure you've seen your right Mutilations everywhere. You are supposed to transmit election results. That's key. So why did we waste all that money? And in the same election, National Assembly went very well. And the only one where you now had problem was the presidential. That for me tells you something. That we have carried our rascality too far. We should fear God. I swear to God Almighty, if anyone had won after following due process, I will be the first. I supported the Atiku and the OB in 2019. I wasn't a member of PDP then. And immediately they declared President Buhari. I tweeted and I said I wish to advise Alaji Atiku Abaka to congratulate Buhari because that election was not as killed as it was this time. It was clear that, okay, it may not have been perfect, but at least they followed the new process this time that for me was not followed in 2015 i supported buhari i was not a member of apc i've always been in opposition so for a country as poor and as impoverished as nigeria is some of us with voices must be in opposition to be able to tell our friends that despite our friendship this is not right but a lot of people in Nigeria have come to accept as long as somebody is from your tribe, somebody is from your religion, somebody is giving you money, then you become a voluntary slave. That cannot be democracy. If the court, and we are hoping that the court will be able to show that this election was a very bad, bad one, bad one that will haunt Nigeria for a very long time to come, no matter who is declared, whether it's Atiku or Obi or Ashwaju that is finally declared, this was a bad election. Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening to you, depending on where you are watching us from. Hmm, I have had a lot of people say, how can somebody who is the number 10 or the party who is the number 10 will be competing with the first going to tribunal? Do you really think Obi is number three? I don't think so. I will give you an instance and I will show you video. Hmm. You think they are just okay, a case of number three wanting to be number first. No. Even the APC, the PDP, no, the winner. If they will be true to themselves. Everyone is trying to use now technicalities to win. They all know the actual winner. They have representative at various polling units. But they are trying to, you know, some have paid money, did this and that.